What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are having a great day today. We are here at the Red Bluff Outlaws for points race number 11 on the year. We have had a rough season. We've had ups and downs. We've had main events that have been good. We've had main events that have been bad. We've had almost everything tied up in a bow here this year. So hopefully we can have some fun for points race. For points race 11 and have some fun here to race for money we know we're out of a championship but we're here to have fun grind learn every day and hopefully we can not only here to have fun but we're here to learn and who knows what we learn here we can carry to cycling and what we learn at cycling we can carry to here even though they're two different sizes of racetracks Hopefully we can just have fun for points race 11, and here in two weeks will be the biggest race of the year, West Coast Nationals. Next up, we'll be qualifying, pulled pill, tw pill 21, so I should go out early-ish, so we'll find out and I'll let you guys know. Hey guys, just got done with qualifying. Did not qualify the greatest. Went 21st out of 24 cars. Didn't have the greatest qualifying session, but we don't qualify good here. We don't really qualify good anywhere, but you put a heat race with me and I can either transfer or get close to a transfer. We have some pretty fast cars in our heat race towards the front but we only gotta get the fourth to make tonight's A main event. I don't even care where we start. I'm just gonna hopefully drive into turn one and make something happen, I guess. We're gonna figure our way to a transfer spot, hopefully, and congrats to Eric Botello and the TV for going quickest tonight. Maybe he'll close up on Jet Yantis for the championship. Hey guys, getting ready for the B feature. We'll roll off from ninth, have to miss the crashes and drive to the front. The worst we can roll off is from 16th and the best we can do is from 14th. So hopefully we can put it in the show. Top four transfer, roll from ninth, gotta talk and go. Here we go.
with the B main event. We started out rough. I was super loose in the beginning. Made a little bit of a wing adjustment in the car during the race. Helped a bunch. Drove our way back to second. My crew guy, my dad, is working hard. And he also told me it's time to go. So we went and we went and we went hard. So hopefully now we can roll from 14th, I think, in tonight's A main event and drive to the front and just be consistent. The goal for this weekend is to finish, have not finished the last three main events here. So hopefully we can break that cold streak and finish inside the top 10 tonight. Gotta get four spots to get there and hopefully we can do it. Rolling on from P14. CEO of Christensen Automotive. I'd like to welcome you to Christensen Automotive team and I'm thrilled you are here. I often travel around from store to store to see our employees and I'm excited about getting to meet you. You're joining a very special company, one that has been in my family for over 20 years. Here's a little history of who we are. Founded by Rich and Wendy Christensen, my parents in 1998, with our first shop in South Lake Tahoe, after a few successful years, Rich felt the need to expand into the Carson Valley and open the Gardnerville location in 2001, and then Carson City in 2008. My brother and I purchased the stores from our parents in 2014, and we've continued to expand through Northern and Southern Nevada. Despite the devastation we saw in the pandemic across the globe in 2020, our team came together and pushed through, and we continue to see success and growth due to the hard work and dedication. Due to this commitment, we recently opened eight stores in the Las Vegas area in February of 2021. Despite our growth, the business ethics our father instilled in us have not changed. We look forward to continuing to grow and making Christensen Automotive the leader in automotive repair. Let's take a deeper dive into who we are and where we are going. Our mission statement is to deliver excellent customer service by providing quality automotive service and repair through a friendly, informative, and welcoming sales environment. Our vision is to be a nationally recognized leader in automotive repair by impacting millions of customers by providing them with best-in-class automotive service and repair with revenues exceeding one billion dollars annually our core values represent what we do when no one is looking our values are one team safety focused customers first growth and innovation say and do live our best and do the right thing these values are our belief system. Our employees live by these values when they come to work and we see it when they show up every day. 2021 has become all about our team. How do we change our culture to make our company better for our customers? We do that by creating an environment where our employees feel like they can make an impact in our customers' lives. Welcome aboard and thank you for choosing Christian Sonata Mode.
Hey guys, just wrapped up point race number 11. We finally got a finish. We've been making a couple mains. I think we made three main events in the last couple weeks, but stuff has gone wrong and we have not finished. This weekend, we broke that cold streak and ended up in the top 10 out of the B main event. Could not keep the front tires on the ground for the first half of the night, but once we figured out that problem and then we got rolling through that B feature late, and started to make a charge for the lead but just ran out of laps and in the main event got a good start and went up to the front close got close to the front of the field i messed up going into one once because there was a rut and i was hitting the rut with the right rear i misjudged it hit we lead and about put myself on the fence but Nonetheless, fell back to, I think, ninth. got passed by another car with a few to go, ended up 10th, but hey, we finished for the first time in like three or four races, so we are happy for that, and tune in to Fast Forward Media for full race coverage of the Red Bluff Outlaws and more, and we will be back on Saturday night for a full race show, the last points race of 2022 at the Red Bluff Outlaws. Hope to see you all in the next one. Deuces.